good morning hey chicks let's chat i don't know why i'm in a good mood today i was in such a good mood and i decided to go make up free just didn't want to have some places been messing up my clothes lately like and i don't like that but anyways hope y'all are off to a wonderful wonderful day and i'm just saying like you know what it's a good day to just enjoy the moment you know why because we don't know what the next few months may bring we really don't you know we don't know what kind of chaos may come if this person or that person doesn't win the election you know you we just never know what the next months will bring you know but we do know that either way somebody gonna be mad right so we just have to enjoy the times when it's when there is some level of peace because you never know what the next few months gonna bring but even while I'm saying that, I'm remembering the young lady who just was killed by the officers. Because that just blew my mind. That just blew my mind to see that officer take that lady out like that. But at the same time, here we go now. At the same time, it's a good, it is a very good and clear yet sad picture of what we face a lot of times that people don't see. And people think that we just be lying and we just be, you know, oh, they just want to believe that, you know, officers are against them because of their color, et cetera, so forth. No, this happens very often at the hands of law enforcement. Our interactions with them out the gate is negative. That's what people don't understand. We don't always have to do anything. And just because that lady said, I rebuke you, the, it shows the... Number one, it shows how scary he is. Number number two, it shows that he don't even know what the lady was talking about. He thought the lady was really physically going to do something to him. When, in fact, that lady was talking about what she was doing to him in the spirit. When she was rebuking him in the name of Jesus. And he's so ignorant and, 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 and foolish and stupid that he didn't have a clue. He, just, he assumed she was going to do some type of something to him with the water. You know, as if she finna cast out his demon or something. Like, man, that thing just blew my mind to see that. And then, you know what? When I thought about it, it also took me back to this. When I told y'all I had went to jail. This the part I ain't tell you about. Because it was going to be on another video. Because I really wanted to remember and look through my paperwork to see what his name was. So when I say his name, it'll be out there. But all I can remember is his first name, which, like I said, was Jaquan. So, listen. So, y'all know, as I got arrested or whatever. So, um, officers, they can sit either in the, um, they could do their paperwork either inside of the building or they could do their paperwork outside in the car because they have laptops. And I know this because I used to work at the juvenile assessment center and officers all the time, they would either do their paperwork in our facility or they would do the paperwork outside in the car and then bring the youth into the facility, right? To get processed. So I already knew what he was doing. I understood the process. I'm sitting in the car. And I'm trying to give him as much time as he can to do whatever he wants. I'm cooperative because I'm not tripping. Because one thing about it, I, I was I understood exactly what was going on and I was gonna take my lick, right? So the problem was I started needing to use the bathroom, right? So as I started needing to use the bathroom, you know, I'm trying to hold it and I'm kind of used to holding it for a long time because I hate public bathrooms. I do not like to go into a public. I don't care how much tissue you put on the toilet. Ugh, it just give me the germs. You hear me? Like, I bought one. I ended up having to buy one of them little things that, you know, I don't know if y'all know, but you can order one on Amazon if you like me. And you could pee standing up. You know, and after going to Orlando International Airport one time and it was so filthy, my nasty, I said, oh, no, 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 no. Something has to give. And that's what made me look for something that I could use without bothering no toilets or whatever, right? Even touching them, I hate it. So anyways, I'm definitely trying to hold it because I don't know. I know I'm going to go into a <clears throat> jail facility and all I ever heard was bad stuff. So I don't know what in the world I'm facing, right? So, I'm holding it, holding it, holding it as much as I can. Remind you, I have high blood pressure, so I do take blood pressure pills, right? Um, oh my goodness. 
me sweating the ride this traffic crazy so sometimes they do make you use the bathroom right but at the same time like i said i'm used to holding so i'm holding out like a soldier right so after i've been holding for a while i tell them hey sir i need to use the restroom you know can you open the door or anything you know so here he go with the lies uh you know just wait a minute you know i got to finish my report or whatever so i'm like okay you know because i know that finishing your report outside is not anything you have to do you could go inside and bring me inside and finish your report this i know for a fact so i'm just holding out some more you know maybe like maybe about 20 more minutes go by you know so it's to the point where you know i'm starting to feel like a pain in my stomach like because i'm really trying to hold and it's like it's almost like bringing tears to my eyes because i'm like oh my gosh you know like, this is i gotta use the bathroom real, real bad and so i was like sir could you just open the door like you know remind you i'm in handcuffs in the back seat i was like if you could just open the door like so i could just use the bathroom right here i don't care it don't matter you know so uh, you, the more you interrupt me, here he go. The more you interrupt me, the longer it's gonna take. I have to use the bathroom, sir. I'm a, I'm a female, and at this point, you don't even know why I have to use the bathroom. My cycle could be on or anything. I ain't even. He didn't care not one bit about me. This my first arrest. It's no reason for you to treat me anything other than humane. You hear me? I ain't killed nobody. I ain't did nothing like that for you to be nasty with me. And this ain't a white man, this is a black man who's younger than me at the time, right? Oh, just wait a minute now. You know, I'm like, why this man won't take me to the bathroom? So instantly stuff started playing in my mind. Like, this is how people get hurt in custody. This is how people die in custody. This is how things happen because simple little things. Now, if I was a man, I could have easily start to become irate with him, cussing him out, and then further giving him a reason not to help me, you know? But I didn't do that because like I said, instantly in my mind, it started playing out, okay, this is how things start happening to people while they're in custody. For, for no reason, other than you is a nasty officer, right? So he say, um, he, he, he do a little move where he say, well, okay, um, they got to come let you out they got they got to come and get you they got to come from the inside to get you and take you to the bathroom so whenever they come get you then you so now i'm like well when is the people gonna come i don't know when these people gonna come i gotta use the bathroom now you know that's what i'm saying to myself but i'm like all right you know at this point i'm like sir this is a medical problem i have to use the bathroom because in my mind i'm like I can't use the bathroom by myself. I don't know what I'm going into. I don't know if I'm going into a, a facility full of full of men. I'm, I might be wet. Like, I'm a grown woman. Who wants to go into a facility, a grown woman, want to go into a facility wet? Don't know when you're going to change your clothes. I don't know nothing about the process. I don't know anything. But this is the situation that this man is about to put me in and by no means does this compare to this lady getting killed but i'm saying this to say this happens to us all the time where these officers are nasty to us and who cares nobody nobody cares do 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 any political side care because this is a this is a problem with humanity this is a problem of the heart that you have officers that feel like they can treat you any kind of way when you have not done anything to them no disrespect at all i can see when a person is being irate and disrespectful i can understand that cussing officers out and all that because i've not seen people do that for no reason and i can understand when the officer turn around and say something to you or, 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 or bop you or anything right but when you're not doing that and you have a legitimate situation that this officer needs to attend to y'all y'all be hiring the wrong people the wrong people and it's unfair to people it's unfair to regular tax paying people because i go to work and i pay taxes and, and, and help fund y'all sources and, 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 and help fund y'all um y'all income just like everybody else right so long story short 
when I say he was taking forever, remind you, like I say, I'm handcuffed. But guess what? I had to pull them black tights down that I had on. I had on some black tights, um, black short tights, a t-shirt. Like I said, I had my hair wrapped up or whatever. And then I had on some little Gucci slides with some probably some socks or some just throwed on some just to come into work late night, <clears throat> right? So I, you know, wiggle my, my, my tights down and I just piss right in the seat. Cause well, so I'm gonna do with that. So I tell him, sir, don't even worry about it now. Cause after I've been begging you for the last hour. Don't even worry about it. Take your time. That's what I told him. Take your time with your paper. Don't even worry about it now. Oh, you used the bathroom? Sir, I've been telling you I had to use the bathroom. <clears throat> so look how this joker do. And see, this was what officers get good at. They get good at covering up, covering their tracks. So instead of him wanting to explain why somebody done pissed in his car, he gets slick and try to call his superior. He try to call his superior, right? And tell his superior that it's the fault of the COs in the um in in the in the jail that they didn't come get me. So I you let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something. And if I'm one of them COs and I see all the county um jail, if they happen to see this, they are no ain't lying. Let me tell you something. It was one girl, I know she part of the LGBTQ community because she looked like a stud. And that's not saying, you know, that's not any offense to her, but she's a sergeant or something. Baby, when I say she had, she she was ready for him because his sergeant done called her trying to strain her about why I don't use the bathroom. Like trying to make it be their fault. Look here. That sister had the timetable and everything ready for that joker. She said, you pulled it in that cellar port at such and such, such and such time. You just not bringing her in here. I know she been telling you before that she had, before now that she had to use the bathroom. I said, and half, yes, I was for a long time. She told him, she say, but your, um, but your sergeant or whoever is calling, asking us about, you know, what happened. She say, any other time you have brought officers, you have brought people in here to um use the bathroom. Why you couldn't have brought her in here to use the bathroom? You have brought other people when you came. Look, he can't say nothing. Well, you know, you know. I mean, she gave him the business. She gave him the business. Like, no, you were supposed to bring. She said, we don't come out there and get y'all, um, y'all inmates. You know. Y'all, um, they're not, they don't belong to us till you bring them in here. Listen, she ran down everything so smooth and so good to buddy. I said, don't worry, because as soon as I get out of here, I'm filing a um, report uh, um, to an internal affairs because I know that what he did was wrong. But what I wasn't sure about is if he could do it. You know, whether or not you have to let me use the bathroom. So I found out that they don't necessarily have to let you use the bathroom. But in his case, we already at the place, right? I wasn't asking him why we drive in the stop and pull over. We're already in the Sally Port. You could have let me use the bathroom, right? So, um, yeah, so she gave him the business. So look at him. Look at this joker now. He gonna say, when they leave, when the, when the girl leave out my way, um, cause you know, I'm standing there still with the handcuffs and, um, you know, they had searched me and everything or whatever. So, he gonna say, when she moved to mine, listen, I ain't no nasty officer. Well, what do you call it, sir? Is what I'm telling him. Well, what do you call it? Now, I ain't no nasty, but just every time you come to this place, it's a different, they have different rules. I ain't no excuse you could give me at this point as to why you did not let me use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Just a human, regular thing that everybody do. You would not allow me to do that. And now I have to come in here after I'm not pissed in your car. But I pissed in your car. That ain't take nothing off me to do that. But I was trying not to do that because I should not have to do that. 
But okay, well, clean it up, man. Clean it up. Since you couldn't give me the human decency to uh, to bring me in here to use the bathroom. Here you go, Jay Corn. And whoever, I don't know who's married to him, but that's what, but you should know that that's how your husband act when he's in the field. And I, ooh, I wish I remember his last name. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and one thing about the rest of the COs, and at that time, they were very apologetic to me. The female um, officers, they was like, listen, that should never have happened to you. He, that has, he knows better. He knows he can bring you in to use the bathroom. It's no reason why he did that. Now, see, we, we, we love to, you know, look at the things that, the, you know, in, 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 in Sonya's case, it was a white officer. But our own officers, they do us nasty, too. They do us nasty, too. I don't know what kind of training they go through at the um, police academies. But you know what? Y'all need to do better. Because y'all teaching these people how to be inhumane. How to be inhumane. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to bank on a person like me not being the type to, you know, retaliate or anything like that. You just have to bank on me just saying, you know what, I'm going to take my leg. Even though he shouldn't have treated me like that, I'm going to just take that. I'm going to just deal with that. Everybody ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, I had said I was going to do a video and talk about it. But... In this situation right here, it was a perfect time to just get that out and just say, like, yeah, far too often we are mistreated by officers. Far too often. You know, and it's crazy because we see online all the time our counterparts, they start arguing, yelling, fighting, and everything, um, officers. And they still end up alive. But when it's us, when it's people of color, we don't stand a chance. They got to change. It has to change. Y'all enjoy your day.